Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me. And we're going to be talking about a couple of things, but mainly talking about the question, do I regret moving here to Charlotte? If you guys don't know, I moved here almost a year ago, which is insane to think that it's almost been a year. But yeah, almost a year ago, I moved here and we're going to just get right into just get ready with me. So let's get ready together. If you haven't gotten ready yet, go get your makeup girl and let's get to it. So today I am on the way. I'm going to go get my daughter's hair braided. So I don't want to spend too much time on my makeup and I, but I do know that I want to look, um, by the way, a lot of you ask, what is this? I like to put this on the back of my ears. It just smells so good. And I actually smell this more than I smell like the other perfume that I put on my body. But this is the clean classic warm cotton. It's so freaking good. It looks just like this and it's so good. So yeah, I would put that on the back of my ears. But I'm going to be working out of the Jaclyn Hill palette. I like to work out of these, the ones that as you can see have I've hit pan on. I also am probably gonna work out of these ones right here. Hold on. <laughs> And then this other one, it's like a mirror. These ones right here. Those three. You can tell I'm super profesh. So, yeah, actually, I'm going to do my face first. So, let's get you out of the way. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. All of these products will be listed down below in the description box. Um, first, I do want to get something off my chest, though, because this is something that's been bothering me. And I just think that it's not fair. And I know that I'm not the only one that deals with this, and I just think that it's disgusting. I really, truly do. So, my ex owes me, like, he literally has no responsibilities whatsoever. He doesn't have a house. He doesn't have a car. He's basically just like, I'm like, should I even be giving all this tea? I don't know. Maybe I should do a Patreon just to share the tea on my ex-husband. Let me know if y'all want to hear that because I don't feel like I should be spreading all this tea about him publicly because, you know, you know, there might be little eyes watching. Let me know. And then I was thinking about doing a Patreon for when I start dating and we can talk about all of the dates that I go on and, you know, just like, let me know if you'll be interested in that. I think that would be a really good Patreon. I promise this literally just came to my head right now as I was talking about this. I was like, I'm probably going to delete this because I just feel like I shouldn't have this up. Because little eyes might be, little eyes and little, hear, little ears might be watching and hearing even though I tell them not to watch. So yeah, let me know. Then you got to pay to see this kind of content. Let me tell you, girl, it's juicy. Oh, it is so juicy. It's so juicy. Anyways, let's get on to the Charlotte part. So I moved here back in August of last year. And I truly, truly, truly love it here. I feel like I need to make it a little darker in here. Sorry, I feel like I'm a little washed out. Is that better? I would say I know that my background isn't as blurry, but that's okay. So I moved here August 8th of last year and I picked Charlotte because of the fact that I wanted to move to a city. I had contemplated moving to what's that place? Atlanta. I had lived there before, but I was just like, you know what? I really want to go live in a place where I know nobody and it sounded really great at the time really great at the time and I thought for sure because I was like let's go ahead and move into an apartment complex I thought for sure that I was going to meet people and it was going to be really easy for me to meet people and let me tell you that has not been the case 
and yes, I've gone places and done things and been at meetups and stuff where you like, you know, the thing where you usually, oh, I'm going to meet someone. And then I still don't. Did I do that evenly? I did. Good job. Chill. I was about to say good girl. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, so it, it's just, it's been really freaking hard. And I thought for sure with an apartment complex, like you see your neighbors all the time because you live in such close quarters and there's so many of them and this and that. No, I literally never see any of my neighbors. Literally never ever see. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm convinced that the woman across the street, across the street, across the way doesn't even exist. I've literally seen her once in almost a year. And the only way I know that she, the only reason why I know that she's in there is because we have valet trash and I see her trash can and it'll be full of stuff. So I'm like, she lives in there. I saw some family members on uh, Thanksgiving, but yeah, anyways, I'm like, I'm convinced that she actually doesn't live there, but homegirl got trash. She got trash, so she living in there, but um, see how that contour is. Yeah, um, anyways, I thought that apartment living was going to be the way to definitely like meet people you know apartment complexes have functions and we'll attend and we still have yet to really meet and I know with these things you're supposed to mingle and you're supposed to talk it's so hard because I'm so introverted I'm like an introverted extrovert because like I don't want to be I like to be around people that I know and that I you know am friends with and stuff it's hard for me to get to know people, you know? So unless I'm like with a truly extroverted person, it's been, it's been hard. So I haven't really made any friends. I haven't really met anyone and, um, it's been hard. That aspect of it has been very, very, very hard. Okay. Very hard. But... I freaking love it here. I love the fact that you can one minute be in the city and the next be in the complete country. So depending on your mood or like how you're feeling for the day or if you just want to kind of get away, you totally can. I love the fact that we are like so freaking close to the mountains. I actually, I don't know that I've ever, I've gone through the mountains. I've never stayed in the mountains. So I would love to do a trip for me and my kids. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, as a matter of fact, my doctor, when I went to my daughter's appointment, he was telling me about somewhere. It's not Asheville, but it's somewhere close to Asheville, but it's like, closer to Charlotte and it's literally only two hours from here like it's barely even a drive it's not that bad and he talked about how it's literally like 20 degrees cooler there than it is here and I was like that's like a summer dream like oh I need to go there when it gets like real hot you know for the summer so I don't know why I just did that <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so that was, that would be something I would love to do, but, um, yeah, one thing I have realized is that everything obviously is so freaking expensive. There are, there, there's still a lot of things to do here in Charlotte that don't cost money and that are free. Yeah, I still don't regret moving to an apartment. I absolutely love the fact that I have so many amenities, I just wish that it would be easier, I guess, to meet people. But honestly, it's always been a challenge for me to meet people. So, I mean, in no way am I surprised about the fact that I haven't met anyone yet. I did envision something completely different than what I'm experiencing though. I'm not going to lie. Like I did envision for sure that I was no doubt going to meet people 
because it was going to be so easy because I'm new in town, right? So, like, people are going to be like, oh, my gosh, like, I have this favorite spot. Like, you should come with me. Yeah, that, that's never happened. Sorry, I just did these two eyes because um, I was, I was uh, getting my daughter up using my Alella. <laughs> I don't want y'all to go off. Um, so we call her Alella when we don't want her to go off. But, um, I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, I, this is what I envisioned. <clears throat> I'm the new girl in town, so I'm going to tell people that. And then they're going to be like, oh my gosh, this is my favorite place. You need to come, you need to come with me. I'm going on Friday. Do you want to come? Like, I thought it was going to be like that. And, and it just hasn't. It hasn't. Like, any of the people that I have met, I will explain to them, like, I moved here. I don't know anyone. I don't have any family. I don't have any friends. And they're just like, like, no one is, no one's like, oh, like, come, you know. No. No, it's, 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 it's not, it's not like that. And, um, that was definitely kind of like a rude awakening kind of situation where I was like, oh, like I thought this was going to be a little different than how it's turning out. I guess I'm just living in like this dream world. Like, does that like actually happen? I mean, cause I would have conversations with people as a matter of fact, before Bella attacked a dog in the dog park, I would go like every night and there'd be like this group of people that were there and were very accepting of me and Bella and how aggressive she can be and were super kind and super sweet and I would tell them like, you know, I'm here alone and this and that and blah, blah, blah and, and yeah. So it's not like it was just like random people like, you know, I don't know. I guess it's like always two-sided like I could always but like my thing was and I guess like now too people get annoyed with you because there's social media but it's like I'm trying to strike up a conversation like I understand that I can totally look all of this information up on social media not all of it because you never know like someone could have found like a diamond in the rough that no one knows about on social media yet and be willing to share but yeah like I haven't experienced any of that so it's definitely been a rude awakening in that aspect my kids are doing great they have made friends I have not made friends with any of their friends parents again I have tried it's one of those things where it's like oh like we should go do something and then you text and it's just like it's just like it's just awkward and weird so yeah um, I don't know. There's meetup groups that I've been to and I've been at the meetup and has not talking, not, didn't talk to anyone. I am going to a meetup next week and I'm forcing myself to go. I am forcing myself to go because it's going to be a very small amount of people there's not a whole ton of people at the meetup and that is just going to be perfect for me because a lot of these meetups too y'all like there's like this 90s night that I so want to go to I so want to go to a 90s night and then they also do like 80s nights like the things that Charlotte has like 80s night 90s nights um, they have, you know, uptown and, and, and they have like fancy stores and a fancy mall and they have nice restaurants and they have, you know, a, a basketball team, a football team, a baseball team. I mean, they have all the sports, a hockey team. There is so much to do here, but there's only so much that I want to do alone. And I'm kind of getting to the point where it's been almost a year and um, there are just a lot of things that I want to do that I don't want to do alone because I just, I don't think I'll have fun. Um, there's Camp North End, which shockingly enough, I have not, if you, if you, if you, if you live in Charlotte or know about Charlotte, you know about Camp North End. I have still never been, I have drove past it. More so when I was visiting Charlotte. I'm going to go ahead and take this ColourPop setting setting powder um, and just kind of 
go around underneath my eyes and around here and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there's so much to do here and it's like I'm so excited for her, but I feel like I, you know, want to like go with people because I'm kind of tired. I have explored the city a lot alone and I'm really proud of myself. Well, with my kids. I haven't really done... I mean, I've, I've explored a couple... Like, I've explored sh places to shop alone without the kids. But, like, this city, I haven't been alone. But, I mean, there's just so many beautiful places. And I think about, you know, dating and how amazing it's going to be when I have another person to, like, go experience these things with. Can I do this alone? Absolutely. Again, it's not fun for me. There are certain things that are fun and I'm like, okay, yeah, I really enjoy my company doing this. But then there's other things that I'm just like, I don't want to be here alone. I only want to experience this with someone else. So yeah, but it's just, it's so beautiful here. I absolutely love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't love the fact that I'm a year in and I still haven't made any friends. I mean, I have met people. I joined OA. I met some people. We hung out here and there, but nothing really came of that. Um, and then everyone, when I first met them, no one, no one worked. Everyone like, you know, I work from home. And then another woman was like a stay-at-home mom. Another woman wasn't working or was in between jobs. And so it was like no one. So we, we did a lot more. But now I haven't seen them since Christmas or a little after Christmas. Because we used to have like monthly get-togethers and stuff. And that was fun. But then I decided not to do OA because it just wasn't for me. And... Um, I haven't really seen or talked to anyone. So there's that. The most of it is like, I freaking love it here. I love, love, love it here. And I'm going to love it even more when I meet people and make friends. So I am going to be dating soon. I'm kind of having to get over some mom guilt, which I have shared with y'all before. Some major mom guilt that I experience. And am experiencing, but I'm serious about that Patreon, y'all. If y'all are interested, I'm gonna like do the things and I can talk about my relationship with, you know, people, my ex, um, dates that are gonna be happening. Let me know because I think that would be a really freaking juicy it's gonna be a real juicy it's like stuff that I can't put on a public platform that I'm not going to put on a public platform you know and then I'll do lives like once a month with all of my patreons at a certain level so that way we can have like a really cool chill conversation and chat and that would be really fun and yeah I'm not even going to ask y'all if y'all are interested. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it and then announce it when it's live because I think that that would be really fun and I'm actually getting really freaking excited about that. Like, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't like too excited to film this video. I'm really busy. My kids have got, we've got like a jam-packed week of like daughter's appointments and Ava's getting her hair braided today and, um... We've got, like, all this stuff going. Um, I can also share my experience about being a sole custody, which I don't have sole custody of my kids. We actually have joint custody, but I have sole custody of them. Uh, be just because of the fact, not because I want to, because of the fact that he's just never around. He's never, he's never there. He never, like, you know... That's all. There's there's some there's some real juicy stuff that I can talk about, y'all. I'm telling you, it's good. It's good. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get that started and um, let me know what y'all think. I'm kind of excited about this, but yeah. Anyways, um, then when I start dating, I can talk about my dates and how they went, and I can go into full detail. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, my makeup turned out really pretty today, too, and I'm really happy with that. I really needed this. 
I really, really needed this. I needed this good skin day. I needed this makeup to turn out really well. I've been having a little bit of a rough time. It's been a little rough. Uh, yesterday was very emotional. Some things with my ex and I'm just like feeling like I can't breathe and just super overwhelmed and it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. I mean, it's so not fair what's going on. It truly, truly is not fair. But I'm like, what can I do about it? There's really nothing I can do. So, I mean, I'm just going to have to deal with it and just pray. And that's all I really can do. Um, I mean, I hate this. I don't know. I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say that. But, yeah. It's been, it's been interesting. It's been very, very, very interesting to say the least. I can give y'all the tea on companies. Um, I mean, there's so much I can do on a Patreon that I'm just like thinking, oh, you can talk about this, you can talk about this, that I wouldn't necessarily want to publicly talk about, but um, there are some things. Be like the juicy, the juicy Jill cast, I don't know. The juicy, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to see. I'm going to have to like do some brainstorming while I'm sitting there waiting for Ava to get her hair braided today. I can think about it and kind of put it together, but it'll be coming up soon. But yeah, I wasn't excited to do this. Get ready with me. I'm going to be honest. Like I said, I'm like kind of running short and I knew that I didn't have much time to, so I was just making sure I was still recording. I didn't have like a whole ton of time to like sit and like really do this like I wanted to and I feel like I don't I'm like I don't want to half-ass it but I don't and I don't want to feel like it is I don't want to feel like it's that you know so I'm just kind of like I don't know so yeah I did not want to do this video and I was just like you got to have a video and then I was like gonna just put it on my community tab like no video for Thursday sorry it's just been a crazy week and I, I really didn't like plan as well as I should have so with that being said, I was not really wanting to sit down and do this video. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bullshit y'all, but I did. And then as I started talking and I was like, I'm going to tell a story. And then I'm like, no, because they're like, I, if you notice, I took down all of the videos where I'm talking about him because there was something that happened that made me think, and she told me she didn't, but it just kind of made me think maybe she is and not telling me I don't know she being my daughter but it kind of scared me enough into being like if she did and you're feeling this way you just need to go ahead and delete that stuff and, and take it down so I did and uh, that's why it's gone if you've noticed but um, and I also have not finished that series so I can actually finish that series there's a lot more to tell about that whole situation um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, for the longest time, I was like, I feel like I really don't have anything, but it literally just came to me as I was talking about that story. I was like, this is what your Patreon can be for. Cause I know I had talked to y'all about doing one, but I was like, I'm gonna be honest. Cause a subscriber had told me, girl, you need to do a Patreon. And then I'm like, no, literally like, what am I going to do a Patreon about? And she gave me some ideas, and I can't even remember them now, what I was saying, but that literally just came to me as I was doing this video. So, see, sometimes you just got to fight through things that you don't want to do because they lead to bigger and better things. Um, did I say that right? I always feel like I'm, like, offending someone when I say something. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to take this NYX lip liner in nude and then I'm gonna take this Morphe make it big plumping lip gloss in posh petal and we're just gonna do it like that real simple real quick I really hope my daughter's up because she has not responded to me at all on whether she's up or not Ugh, focus focus on me is it trying to focus on the mirror oh my gosh Okay, well, that's not happening. 
We're just gonna go into Buxom White Russian. I don't know why that thing was so hard to open. My lips are crusty. I really need to, um, exfoliate them, but I'm literally about to go eat, so this is about to come right off anyways. This is just for the video. That's a little too nude. So I'm gonna add some Samantha, Buxom Samantha over top. <laughs> Which hasn't really made it any better. They're both very nude. Oh! Alright, so that is going to do it for this video. If you guys are interested in my Patreon, the information eventually will be down below and I'll ex I'll I'll announce it in all of my videos. So yeah, that will be coming up soon. As soon as I get all of it together, I'm really actually excited to do this. So yeah, I hope that you guys are able to become members of my Patreon. I think it'll be super exciting and super fun. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. I love it. It's one of my favorites. And I'm so glad that it came out the way that it did. Cause like I said, I, I really needed this. Ooh, I need some setting spray. I'm going to set my, my face real quick. So yeah, I really needed this. By the way, I want to tell you guys about these earrings. $7.99 from Target. They're amazing. They're so good. They have the cubic zirconias right here and right here so you can see them all around. Those, these are my favorite kind of hoops. I love them. Love them. Love them. And so... Yeah, I also have a story about a pair of hoops I had one time, but I'm not going to go into that because we're going to end this video right here. So to finish this video up, I just want to say no, I do not regret at all moving to Charlotte. I know 100% when I start dating and make friends, I'm going to have the time of my life because there are so many things here that I want to do. And it's just exciting thinking about looking to the future of like, this is going to happen. And I know that it is. And, you know, Charlotte is expensive. Things are expensive. Um, I don't regret moving to an apartment complex. I still love it here. I absolutely love you know the fact that like anything can break and I can just call maintenance they're here within like less than 24 hours they fix it they're done I don't have to pay anyone I love it I really really truly love it my kids are having a blast they've made made some amazing friends so yeah we we just all really truly love it there was a moment there that I thought I was going to have to move back to Augusta and I talked to my kids about it and we were all just devastated and I was like, all right, I will do anything and everything in my power to make it so that we can stay here. And I signed a lease for another year. So we're staying here for another year, baby. <laughs> I'll let you guys know how it goes on to year two. But yeah, we are loving it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I will get all of the Patreon information and kind of come and put out put all of that together and announce it in the next couple of videos to let y'all know so y'all can sign up and stuff like that and we can get started with that because I'm really excited about that but yeah I love you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one bye